Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. of a meeting tonight. Well, it comes less than 24 hours after yet another student on Temple's campus was attacked. Action News reporter Annie McCormick working the story, joining us live tonight from Temple with details on the meeting. Annie. Yeah, Shari and Gray, this meeting was actually scheduled weeks ago. Students wanted answers from Temple officials. They say that they wanted more answers about what Temple is doing in regards to robberies, carjackings and shootings that many students are falling victim to. But I think I, after this meeting, there's definitely a positive direction. I feel like the answers they gave just weren't satisfactory. Temple students filed out of a town hall on safety tonight. The meeting was held in light of consistent incidents of dangerous crime on and around campus. Definitely a topic that's still ongoing, especially since there's a lot of issues right here on the street and like off campus housing is still like majorly prominent. This is video circulating among students today. Students say the person heard laughing <laughs> was one of several who assaulted a student around 9 p.m. last night near 18th and Norris. A half an hour later, police say there was an armed carjacking at 19th and Norris, where a student reported four men ages 14 to 19 took off with his vehicle and phone after pointing a gun in his face. Tonight, students left with mixed opinions over how receptive of university leaders are, including the school's president and vice president of public safety. I think that there were a lot of things that they were kind of dancing around. Um, and I think that, uh, frankly, uh, Temple's accommodations and the resources that they offer to keep students safe just don't cut it without a significant police presence, creating an environment of, you know, safety and awareness. Now, criticism that some students told us was they didn't know that they could email questions ahead of time. You could do that again before the next town hall that is scheduled for February 3rd. For now, reporting live on Temple University's campus, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray and Shari. Yeah, well, at least the dialogue is open. We'll keep following. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.